let's talk about multiplying and dividing fractions this time. You'll notice that Layla and Lenny are both with me this time. Oh, there goes Layla. These are our two new foster cats, brother and sister, and they're doing just fine. If you saw my Peruvian um, talent show video, part two, you would have noticed my t-shirt that said, five out of four people have a problem with fractions. Well, if you could, don't get that, then you're one of the five, I'm sorry to say. I gave that t-shirt away during the talent show, so I'm wearing this t-shirt, and sure enough, a lot of people are lost with fractions. So let's multiply a couple fractions. Let's say we have something very simple like two times three quarters. That does not mean two and three quarters, it means two times three quarters. A lot of students will multiply the three times two and get six, multiply the eight times two and get, the, sorry, the four times two and get eight. And that's just totally wrong because that will reduce back to three quarters. If you simply divide six by two, getting three, eight by two, getting four. But how can two times three quarters also be three quarters? That's not possible. So this is wrong. That's not what you want to do. Think of it as 2 over 1 times 3 quarters. And then simply multiply the top numbers. You get 6. Multiply the bottom numbers. You get 4. That can be reduced as well. If I divide top and bottom by 2, then I'll get 3 over 2. So 2 times 3 quarters is 3 halves or 1 and a half. That's the proper way to multiply. Fraction. Now let's take something a little bit more complicated. Let's say we have two-fifths times three-quarters. Before we work that out, what does that mean? Well, in math, multiplication can be thought of as of. We want two-fifths of three-quarters. What's two-fifths of three-quarters? Well, it's less than half of three-quarters. So it's less than two-quarters. It's probably between one and two-quarters. Let's work it out. Um, before we do any cancellation, let's just multiply the top numbers, multiply the bottom numbers. That's how we got this up here. And then we notice that can be reduced because you can divide 6 and 20 both by 2. If I divide by 2, I'll get 3 over 10. So 2 fifths of 3 quarters is 3 tenths. No one's going to guess that unless you're a genius and you're, unless you're psychic. So it's better to work it out. Now, I could have made it a little bit easier if, before multiplying, I reduced some of these numbers. Anything on the top can reduce with anything on the bottom. 2 goes into itself once and goes into 4 twice. So if I do that reducing first, I can then multiply 1 times 3 and get 3, 5 times 2 and get 10. I recommend reducing first, like I did here, because then you avoid bigger numbers. These aren't terribly big numbers, but sometimes they can get really big. Okay, let's look at one more example here. Let's say I'm dividing. So let's say I have 12 over uh, 19 divided into, uh, let's say we have uh, 36 over 38. Now I've chosen numbers that in this case can be reduced, but I'm not going to reduce it. How do we divide those numbers? How many of these go into that? Again, you're not going to guess that. You have to calculate it. But we don't want to have to divide if we, if we can know how to multiply. So let me show you how we can divide in another way. Let's say I have 8 divided by 4. Well, we all know that's 2. But if I think of these as fractions, 8 over 1 divided by 4 over 1, if I change the division to multiply, and I take the reciprocal of a quarter, I'm going to get 8 over 4, which is indeed 2. Or I can cancel 4 into 8 twice, and I'll, I'll still get 2. So the point is, we can divide by instead multiplying by the reciprocal. So I would get 36 over 38 times 19 over 12. Now, if I don't do any reducing, I'm going to get huge numbers. Let's see what we've got. 
36 times 19 is almost 36 times 20 with one less 36. So 36 times 27, 20, take away 136, you're going to get 684, I believe. And if I multiply 38 times 12, that's like multiplying by 10 and adding two more 38. So 380 plus um, 76 is 4, 383. Um, 356, 456, right? Ah, and that's the right answer. Before I reduce that, let's go back and reduce this one because for one thing, 19 goes into 38 twice, um, 6 goes into 12 twice, and it goes into 36 six times, and then this 2 goes into that's six three times, so goodness, it looks like three over two. If I didn't make any mistakes over here. So if I divide top and bottom here by 228, divided by 228, that's two. If I divide that by 228, sure enough, that's three. Wow, what do you know? You get the same answer, of course, if you don't make any mistakes. But you're not going to want to do it this way. So be smart. Reduce first, it'll save you a lot of headaches. Although that's a lot of fun doing it that way. Thank you very much. Take care and share. Appreciate it.